have no doubt that with the support of the entire minority purpose in Parliament, we shall succeed. May the God Almighty guide us and bless us all. But let me also add that our first responsibility is to unite the purpose. And that will be number one in the agenda. Things of this nature happen, but obviously there is a need for us to show leadership and we will do just that. Most importantly, I will focus the next month. I will focus the next month to tackle three things. First, I wish to first of all send a message to the MPP that the people of Ghana have fallen on them to downsize their government, to reflect the mood of the country. You are asking people to forgo their coupons or interest. You are asking the ordinary Ghanaian to sacrifice his payout. And so therefore, if His Excellency the President intends to reshuffle his government, let me know that we in the NDC will not accept an attempt to increase if the current size of his ministers increase by one, that one person will not receive our cooperation. And in the end, we also wish to assure the people of Ghana that as part of our engagement with the Finance Committee and the Health Committee, we have agreed to do public hearing on the audit of the COVID-19 expenditure. Public hearing beginning on the 7th of February, 2023. At that point, we will pay due diligence to the duties given to us by the people of Ghana. And then finally, finally, we will also embark on a roadshow where we will galvanize the people of Ghana and educate them on the meaning of what this economic crisis is going to take us to. But to conclude on this matter, I will appeal to the rank and file of our great NDC party, if you can. Members of parliament are in good hands. We will work with them with due diligence. Obviously, obviously, we are not new in this house. I've been in this house for 14 years. I know the capabilities of all our colleagues. Some I met, some came to meet me. First, let me say that I'm deeply honored and humbled to have been chosen to lead our government and DC Minority Caucus of Ghana's Parliament. I wish to use this opportunity again to thank the leadership of our great NDC party who have placed their trust and confidence in me. I am also deeply grateful to our colleagues, the rank and file of our great party, the NDC, and the people of Ghana for their profound support and solidarity. I have held fruitful and positive conversation, in fact, frank conversation, with my senior brother, the Honorable Harun Abdusi. I commended him for his admirable leadership and stewardship when he was granted the opportunity by a great party to lead us. As a leader, I will be, it will be my duty to represent our collective our collective goals in particular, with an unwavering dedication, and most importantly,